Ultimate Yoshi here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Spyro Hero's Tale. In the last episode, we did a bunch of ball rolling and other other stuff, and in this episode, I'm going down a path that I started in the very first time we came here, but never actually finished. So, yeah. If you don't recognize where we are, and I don't blame you, um, at the very beginning, there were two paths that split up, and you could go forward and to the right and left. I'm on the left path right now. This is the one I never finished. Because I died and then just went the other way. I'm reasonably certain there's gonna be a light gem at the end of this because there's a light gem that I that you could see and I never got it. And it's over here, so I mean... Yeah, there it is. You can see it right there. All that sure broke a thing. Wasn't even aware that was over there. I think it gave me the gems for it. Eee. Give me that. Alright. So now the thing is, I don't know how to get over there. Like... As far as this level is concerned, there's an area right at the very beginning that I haven't been able to get to. It's right over there. I see a fire bar ball thing at the very end. The, it's the blue thing. I just don't know how to get there. I don't know. It doesn't... There doesn't seem to be a way that I actually get there right now. I don't know. I'll save it for later. In the meantime, I'm going to use a quick teleport pass and go back here and then I'm going to head to the dark place that I haven't been to yet. Alright, where am I? Where do I want to be going? Alright, it's on the other side of this thing. Aha! I get there via this. Well, that's a really easy dragon egg. It's just sitting there in the open. And now it's mine. There's a light gem up there. I presume I go this way to get it. I've had... I can deal with you guys. I've dealt with you guys before. They're annoying, but not impossible to avoid. That, on the other hand, is annoying and impossible to avoid. Alright, that one, much better. Sorry if I'm not talking, I wasn't even sure if I was going to make it that time, but I did. And voila, that's everything that's over here. That was nice and quick. I approve of quickness, and niceness, and stuff. Alright, where do I want to go now? I think I want to head back to the other money bag shop, so let's get another teleport. Alright, I'm here now. Let's take this little whirlwind. This is where Sergeant Bird was, okay. I am aware of where I am now. The only other place I need to get to over here is that. I've got all the dragon eggs, I'm missing one more light gem, and that's good. If this last light gem is on this last island, then I have no idea what's at the very beginning. Other than gems. Yeah, over there, that's... No, not over there. Because that's the ball gadget thing, I think. I think the thing I'm seeing on the map is that tall tower all the way over there. That's the ball gadget. Aha! Uh -huh.
Okay, so there's a lockpick thing over here. This is likely a la the last light gem. Which makes this one of the very first areas I've ever come- Oh. I counted my chickens before they hatched. Well, let's see where I am now. Yeah, that's the thing that I just was at. I have no idea where this is taking me, though. A big old path of some sort. And I died because that guy hit me. Where the hell is this leading? Over there, I guess. Wasn't that where I just was? Yeah, that was where I just was. Huh. Well, I've gone everywhere in this entire place except for... over there. Unless the last light gem I'm missing is... over here in some fashion. I don't think I ever went here. Like, into this thing. Oh, it is! Uh, how do I get up there, then? Primagajamagava! When am I gonna learn that? Well, I'm done here. I, I, I'm done here. I found the last thing. So, uh, where do I need to go now? Wing Shield helps me with literally nothing. So I guess I'm just gonna head back here and fight an Eptune now. I think I can do that and end the episode. Alright. Take me away. Back to the place with catchy music. I'm just gonna go back to the center because I have no clue where the boss is. Ah, oh, the boss is right near. Alright. I have completed all the other places. That was, that was quick and fun. I feel like this game is gonna be like around 40 episodes maybe at the rate I'm going. I don't know, it's been 10 episodes in the first world, 10 episodes in this world. Makes sense to assume it's gonna be 40 episodes. Total, total length. It's a bit longer than all my other Spyro LPs, but oh well. It's longer than I would have preferred. I was expecting it to be around like 25 episodes. That's not gonna happen unless I'm totally wrong about the amount of worlds. But I mean, judging from what I have in this game right now, like status screen, I'm 45% through the game. It's not gonna end at like 20, at episode 25. But yeah. Watery tomb. I hope it's not mine. Um. Oh, I was gonna say I don't go. Keep going straight. Where do I go then? A oh, goodie. people I fight say I'm smaller than they expected. You know, they're trying to psych me out. Oh, I guess I just assumed dragons were tiny. You know, I spend all my time in the water, so I don't get to see a lot of dragons. <laughs> That's a fantastic fact. Alright, I guess the weak point is her belt. Oh, she has a thing! She fires things. I I bet I use wing shield. Alright. Just need to remember what button it is next time. And do it in time as well. But wing shield doesn't reflect, does it? I'm doing a very bad job of this.
Okay, it doesn't work. I guess I do something else then. Lightning? Do I zap her? Aha! I just charge into her when she's close. Alright. Whoa, oh, that just kind of suddenly vanished. Okay! I couldn't control the camera and then there was no ground there. God damn it, I did it again! I'm bad! Why does the camera keep doing that? It's kind of awkward of it. Oh well. Alright, I need to wait for her to be done. And then BAM! Alright. So I can hit her whether or not she hurts me. That's good to know. Alright, this is once again a very tedious battle. Especially if this happens every single time I hurt her. Why can't it be, like, three hits and then she's done, like most bosses tend to be? That, that screws you up. Alright. Round two begin? I can't move anymore, so... Alright, I got a checkpoint. She's just like Nasty Norik. Why do they say that they're, say they're defeated? I mean, I get that it's like a whole... It's a big, like... Checkpoint indicator thing, but at the same time, it's like... I didn't defeat her! <laughs> She's like... I didn't best her, I didn't defeat her, I didn't do a, a goddamn thing. Alright, that was surprisingly not too hard. Also, somehow Sparks got health from that, I don't know. That's what she sounds like. I also truncated the mic there. Ow. Alright, and bam! So I guess the trick is to just kind of stay away. Her spew doesn't go through the entire length of the screen. Ow. Well, that ended it quickly, I guess. You're gonna throw things or you're gonna barf things? You're gonna throw things. Okay, that's not too hard. You're gonna throw more things. Okay, that's still not too hard. You're gonna throw more things, or are you gonna barf? You're gonna barf. Alright, stay far away. She does two sweeps, and... Do -do 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 -do. Alright, let's begin phase three. You're repeating yourself. Maybe that's why she's inept. One, two, three, four. Does she do more? No, she does not. Wonk. You would think she would learn to just not stand there. I mean, in Nasty's defense, he couldn't exactly help the fact that... Um... Spyro kept knocking him his underwear off. But in Neptune, her problem is that she's just standing there. She really is freaking inept at everything. I like how pretty much every single time I lost to her though, was because I was just I accidentally ran off the edge. This whole battle is just about being inept. Whether it's her or me, that depends. Why are there just butterflies right now? sitting around. There hasn't been any fodder. I don't know. 
Oh wow, that's a lot of lasers. Well, you know, I might as well just end it quickly, I guess. That wasn't really necessarily intentional, but I mean, I just got a butterfly from that, and... So yeah, it's like... Doesn't really affect much. Well, that's a big one. Don't laugh. I'm just about to kill you anyway. One, two, three, four. Bam. Was it really worth laughing in Neptune? Was it really worth laughing? No, because now you're dead. about to say something practically the same thing. Spyro, thank you for releasing me. Oh, you don't you start that! I will grant you the power of water breath. Hey, okay, water... Oh, cool, another breath. Water? What can I do with this? You can use your water breath to move some objects, solve puzzles, and slow down some enemies. You can also use it to add water to dehydrated foods. <laughs> huh. I was expecting ice. Just flat out water, though? Huh. Oh! Watch out, Red! Spyro's got bubbles again! <laughs> uh, but now it's a little, slightly more, slightly more threatening of a name. Anything down here? Doesn't look like there's anything down here. Okay. That was some good draw distance on this platform. Alright, let's let's get the heck out of Dodge. Alright, so Water Breath is mostly a puzzle solving thing, it seems. Doesn't do damage to enemies, but it instead solves puzzles and will prevent them from attacking you, I guess, is what it sounds like. Which is neat, to be fair. I mean, not everything needs to be used as an attacking thing. Getting a breath specifically for puzzles? It seems a little... Like, eh, but I mean, I don't know. As long as it's used cleverly, I'm not... I'm not too upset, and that explains... That basically confirms my theory that I need to use a watery breath to... get that one light gem, and you know what? Even if it does make this run on a little bit too long, I don't care. I really want to get that light gem that I was missing because I now now I have the water and I, I just really want it, okay? I want it. I want the light gem. I want the shiny. Give me the shiny and I won't be upset. It's right there and I it's in my ve it's in my reach. I can see it right there. So I don't care. I don't care what you think. Next time on Let's Play Spyro Hero's Tale. We will start the next area as soon as I actually get this thing. Voila! We're done here! 100% and Coastal remains. I approve. Seems like... I have the supercharge thing. I could probably actually finish Crocodile Swamp while I'm at it. Let's go do that real quick, too. I don't care if this makes it run on a little bit long. I'm getting stuff. It's worth it. It's progress. Besides, this isn't a bad episode, am I right? At least, I don't hope it's not a bad episode. So, I mean, I feel like it's kind of worth it. So, yeah, I'll beat you guys at Crocodile Swamp, and then the episode will be over. Alright, here we go. Here's the supercharged gadget. Now, the thing is, I know I need to br use this to break something. I just don't remember where the hell it is. I think it's over near the beginning. Yeah, here it is. Bam! Voila! The last thing I was missing. And now this place is done, I'm gonna just go get those gems real quick. Bam. Boom. Bomb. Spam. Sweet. Alright. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next time for when we start the new world, which I saw thanks to a brief little appearance. Because I need to teleport back here via, via the... Um... I need to teleport here back thanks to the... Professor thing I saw, the next place is gonna be icy, so that's fun, right? Oh dear god, I hope the ice physics are good in this game. I, Spyro ice physics have been very, very wishy-washy. 
But yeah. Should be fun, right? See you guys next time. Sorry if this ended up being a little long.